Scripps Business and Politics with hosts Lamar Clark, Dorshall Clark, and Dominique Hagler on People Think About It, where thought-provoking discussions abound. Hey, 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 welcome to People Think About It. Today we're going to do part two of Love is Blind. And we're going to talk about, we're going to get deep in it about love is blind, whether you can uh, be in love with somebody's sight unseen or date somebody's sight unseen or have sex with somebody's sight unseen or uh, even you marry know. somebody's well, sight unseen. Yeah, I don't know you can do sex without sight unseen. Do what? So, sex without sight unseen. Well, I mean, you know, in today's society, they got let's that online on that. sex. Let's, let's stay on that for a while. Well, online sex? <laughs> yeah. Sex okay. Fine. Okay. Well, we can stay on that. Um, well, we're going to let you take take the No, no, I ain't we're taking gonna, it. We're going to let you take the lead about this. <laughs> Go ahead. So what you want to say, Dominique? I don't know. Wait, wait, I mean, you Who said knows? let's stay on that for a while, so let's so, talk so about it. So, so thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so here's the thing about that, right? So... When I think about online sex, I think of it as a upgrade from Playboy magazine. Okay. That's that's what I think about, right? You got online porn. It's very accessible. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, you had Playboy. You had, what's the other one? Hustler. You know, J- JCG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, right? Yes. I'm asking you because you know, look, look. They got that. Me, that, 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 that he said online he said, sex. He said, listen, he said, I'm what, in listen, listen, he said, what you asked me for? Then he said penthouse. I didn't even think about that. So what's this thing? Is they got now only fans or something only like fans, that? So that's yeah. like from so what I understand, only fans is more just like a sex site because people selling their stuff online. It's I so mean, porn. people people get on there. From what I understand, people explain like you see some of these celebrities and they reveal their body parts and all that. I'm gonna get on and there and start me a bubble channel. I'm gonna yeah. big bubbles. It might work. It shoot. might. A lot of stuff go to you. Might, hey, you know what? People it's, got their own fetishes. What, what, what they say, everybody is somebody for everybody. I'm just That's joking, true. y'all. I don't know, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me, don't call if I see a site pop up called Big Bubbles, oh, <laughs> <laughs> see a Not site pop up called Big, Big Bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> That's what she said. She was going to name it Big Bubbles. Like Lawrence Wells. I'm Will. joking, y'all. Yeah, oh, so, I mean, but, you know. When you when you talk about uh, you know love is blind, that, that that's that's a very big thing you know mm-hmm. because I mean y'all base it off of the show. I I really don't watch the show. I really don't watch any reality shows. Mm-hmm. But just being able to uh, the topic of love is blind. I you know just loving somebody because I think words are very, very powerful, mm-hmm. and I've seen people. Whether they scamming you or trying to manipulate you, they, they can take words and make those words very powerful. And I always say to people this, when you take those words, whether somebody's texting you or whether somebody's talking to you on the mm-hmm. phone, those those are how you perceive those words. Because like when somebody's texting you, you reading the words how in you your see. emotion and right. your feelings. You know what I mean? And I just think a lot of people get tied up and they really loving themselves rather than loving that person mm-hmm. because they read those words and oh gosh Josh just loves me well you ain't never seen this dude or if even if a dude you might be getting catfish I, I think what I like about and I'm not a big reality show TV person but I do like the, I watch two that I watch and I love that's one of the ones I like and the way Nick and, and Vanessa call it they call it an experiment so what I like about it is um, it re, for me it removes the shallowness of dating Yes. Right, because you have to really get to know that person behind that wall. And I, I saw this one guy; he was talking about he, the black guy. As a matter of fact, he was saying how um, looks was everything to him, and the girl was gorgeous, right? But she refused to she refused to say what she looked like, and he kept saying, hey, "That's everything to me. That's everything to me." But I, I feel like the reason that the show is so powerful is because it gives you the opportunity to. Falling over the person's mind versus falling in love with the person's look. Because right. when you see people, we're very visual people, both men and women. Mm-hmm. The first thing we see is what we like. Oh, I like that. And sometimes that can that can cloud your judgment because all right. you're looking at is what they look like. Right. And by, bypassing all the most important things, what I would love to see more on this show is for the people to go a little bit deeper. Because I feel like when they leave, when they leave after the four weeks, they go to the honeymoon spot, and then they just, not everybody's smashing. They still don't ask enough of the right questions, but, like money. Right. Like that should be a conversation that's had in the pod. But but, mm-hmm. but even even if you're saying that this, this gentleman said that, 
uh, looks are very important to him. And to be able to know that you want to show love is blind, well, then you know that's not the right person. It, especially if you say, okay, I'm on there and the person, like some of these people, I guess, describe how they look or what they look like. They're not they're supposed supposed well, I mean, I heard y'all say something about well, one, one of them. One of them said yeah. she looked like some Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Megan Fox. She, and she no. was supposed to do that. Right. But, yeah, she wasn't supposed but to do that. I, I, I just think. I'll tell you on Instagram. I yeah. just think if you on that type of show, I mean, why even worry about what the person looked like? Because it says love is blind. True, so. true that. And you shouldn't even you shouldn't even sign up for the show when you know that looks. Because for everybody, looks is not a big thing. Mm-hmm. But for some people, looks is everything. And so what happened with that girl and that guy, I still don't think they're going to make it. What happened with them was she knew what she was doing. She said, I look like Megan Fox. And the other girl that he did not pick actually looked more like Megan Fox. And mm-hmm. when And she's like, when you see me, you're going to regret that. Because she knew what the girl looked like. Right. And he was jumping all around in the room. And like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then when he saw her, the first thing he said was, she lied. She don't look like Megan Fox. And Because I, I looked it up. I said, let me see what Megan Fox looked like. I don't know. She looked, She did not look anything like her. The girl that he did not choose. And I felt like he did not choose her. Because, because the other girl had already said, I look like Megan Fox. And he was jumping around the room. So he was torn between the two when he saw the so other girl. he got catfished. Yeah. He did get catfished. Mm-hmm. And I think he had, And she knows she catfished him. And then she had had such a hard time oh she's so beautiful it was a mess but I think for this show I think it's a great experiment I think I watched probably three seasons I still feel like they need to go a little bit deeper in the pods because I, I saw some people that left the show left out of out of the pods and then they be like well you know it's a money issue it's a credit issue like one guy on season the season before that he had like some a blemish on his credit well that one was like your credit is bad See, that should have been a conversation they should have had on day one. Mm -hmm. And here's why. Because you are putting all your eggs in one basket, right? So are you basing it on love or are you basing it on finance? I'm basing it on all of it. Because when you say love is blind, that's true. Blind as far as sin me. But if you know that if someone has a blemish on their credit, that's a problem for you, you need to ask that question out the gate. If if you know, if if you know you like to travel, right? That should be a number. That should be your top. You know, you like to talk, travel, do all. That should be the first thing that's said. Because if, right. if you miss them, if you miss those it's things like no. that, it's a no. It's so a not no. waste time. So when when they're in there, they fall in love in day one, and then they stop seeing everybody else, and then they get out, and then they realize, oh, okay, this well, person got bad credit. Talking about talking. Yeah, okay, good. Let me let me. I won't say a personal experience, but this is this is an issue. I was getting to know this young lady, and she was going around her. Guardian whenever. So she asked me a question. How much did you make last year uh, before taxes? Uh, none of your business. And then she got mad and told him, right, now you done made two mistakes. So that was a discussion. Like you said, it was important. But the issue is the fact that if we're going to talk about money, right, let's do this together. And then also the fact that she did three or four things uh, that were very surreptitious I did. I blast because I'm like your first question is you should have did that with 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 him, right? He said, brother, you know, do you, she, you want you want to afford a woman based upon the QOL, the quality of of life, the standard of living? If she's in the penthouse. Don't take her down to the garage. Don't do that. I don't care if I got right. daughters. I would tell my sons the same thing because I've been in that situation. But that was a question that I should like. Okay, I understand it's important, but really, it was deeper than that. She trying to get my business because she knew my ex. And my ex said to her, please don't tell her that we talking because I'm about to go on this trip. Very expensive. And Mustafa know to find out that we know each other, whatever. Girl, he don't like nobody in his business. So she told me. And then she gave the girl my mama's number to keep tabs on me. Right? See, I was like, money? Is this about money? Let's make it about money. Don't keep tabs on me. But see, but see, see you should have saw some red flags from her right out the gate. Like, I would have, like, she oh, would. wasn't even a flag. It was. Mm, but, but, but a lot of men, a no, no, lot no, no. of men, a lot of men Visual. see. What she look like? A lot of men see red flags and ignore. I hear that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I never met this person. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mustafa, hold on. A lot of men, because we're visual beings, right? So some things that we see 
we ignore them. And to put it in a, in a big total perspective, it's a lot of things men and women see and they ignore. Mm-hmm. And when they ignore it and then it, it occurs, now it's a problem. Yep. Because you ignored it when, let's be up front in the beginning. If it's going to be about sex, if it's going to be about finance, if it's going to be about traveling. Right. If it's going to be about the important things that are important to you, you know, you got... You got a checklist. Well, guess what? You might have a checklist of 10 things. They might don't meet three of the things. Right. Is that enough for you to say, hey, I ain't dealing with this person? Right. Mm-hmm. But oh, here, here it is. I never met this female in person. So why she asking you personal questions y'all haven't even met in person? Exactly. Because, because love is blind. blind. Yeah. Love is no, blind. No, because she, she knew my ex. So let me ask y'all. Let me, let me throw this question on the table. Would y'all be able to... And I'm, you know, we're gonna shoot, say that shoot, everybody's shoot. single, right? Right now, would you be able to love? Like, would you be able to do the whole dating without seeing? What, what she explain a little better? What you mean? Talk to like, can you can you date how the show is set up? Like, can you be behind a wall for however many weeks and get to know that person and want to date them? Me, without me seeing personally, them? no. I I, I, I would I wouldn't sign I would not sign up for that show because. You know what? I just I just think that you know what? I want to see you face to face because a lot you can see in a person's eyes. True. A lot you can see in a person's mannerisms. Mm-hmm. If once you learn how to read people and read their bodies and then like you and I always talk mm-hmm. about discernment. Right. And you feel that vibe and you mm-hmm. know because that person, even you on Love is Blind, that person may want a relationship worse than you want a relationship. You on there to see if you can find a connection. Watch it, watch it. Right. So, watch it. so if I'm on that show and I can't see you physically, I, I wouldn't do it. But see, the, the people that come to the show are the people who have a problem. It's a cap, though. They have a problem. Like some people can. They, anyway. the, the, the people that sign up for the show are the people who actually have a problem of choosing people based on looks. That's why they come to the show. And they think that they are beyond that when they come to the show, only to get mm. there and figure, and figure out like, I'm still the same. Still the same. Right. So, so in the movie. That's I'm the not, experiment. I'm, so in the movie, I'm not going to. So the murder suspect is being interviewed. By somebody like me, former military. They went out in the hallway. I'm looking at his voice, his pitch, his pattern, everything, whatever. He did not change, Mia. That boy is sociopath. You don't know who that person is. I, that boy I, was a sociopath. I saw this. I saw Some interview, people good. a live interview recently. Um, this young lady. It's a live interview. So they, the guys, the guys got a studio here in North Cross, and they had. They said it's a young lady coming to the studio all the time. She's in one of their programs, and so they, she would come all the time, and they hooked her up with this guy who they thought was a good guy. So the guy comes to the studio, and he's sitting on the couch talking to him, but the girl is not there. And so, so, the, so the guy who owns the studio is like, "Hey, where, where's your girlfriend at?" And I forgot her name. Where's she at? He goes, oh, yeah, she's not here. So he said, I got a question, you know. I, so the show is about entrepreneurship, but it went to it went left it went real went quick. Left, left. He says, well, I just got a question. You know, I noticed she unfollowed me on social media. And he was like, yeah, that was intentional. This is the boyfriend now. He, go, he goes, why? Well, he named four guys that she unfollowed. All four of the guys was young black men, extremely successful, and... In my opinion, he was deathly threatened by yes, them. For right? Sure. He was a psychopath, though. Mm-hmm. Like he was a psycho to the point where the the conversation went way. It went from entrepreneurship to stalking to control. It was crazy. But he was. You could tell he was a psychopath. Oh, okay, so let me ask you this: Should you, if 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 love is blind and you look at the sexual, the financial, and you find out, well, this this guy he's not appealing because you're behind these walls. Mm-hmm. You're not appealing, but you get in this financial conversation and he says, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty well off. I'm pretty rich. You know what I mean? So is that enough to stay that's with a person enough. because no, they, that's not they enough. rich? No, no, no. no. That t- well, let me say, let me speak for myself. Yeah. That would not be enough for me because I've dated rich guys. And that was, I remember dating this one guy. My mom wanted me to marry him. Go ahead, big bubble. And I was, <laughs> and I was like, absolutely not. Um, he was going to buy me a BMW. My friends were like, girl, I'll take the car. I'm like, absolutely not. Because something it, comes it with It wasn't that. enough for me All because right. we didn't have a lot in common. He was controlling. Yeah. And I'm a free spirit. I can't be controlled. Like, right. you can't try to control me. So that was, that's not enough. That mean that uh, did it. was... Uh, Dominique dad was a little rich you know um, and he was a really nice guy but we were just really different in oh, a lot okay. of ways he was super he's super duper nice I, I've been telling her that since the day she got in this world he's yeah. super duper nice we're so, just really different your daddy my daddy 
So, him. so, so. Really nice. It's different. So, so, and, you know, we've had this discussion. If he's not great in bed, I'm not being with it. If you're not testing the stick shift, you're not with it. If you don't have the finance, you know. I mean, so how do you put everything together to where the point is that you feel like you and this person will work? How, how do you even get to that point? Because if you got a list of 10 things, they're not going to, don't, I don't think nobody's going to meet all 10 of those. No, they're not be realistic, right? And I, What's and this is from my mom, you know, me and my dating space have not always been the best, but I felt like I didn't know what I wanted until I kind of started dating. And it was like, okay, I know I want this, this, and this, and I don't want this, this, and this. But I know I have those major categories where it's like, if you don't check these, this a no. Like you got it's some a, deal breakers. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely deal breakers for sure. Such let, me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I met this young man, nice young man, right? And he said I play games, and he's very quiet. And I was like, yeah, she wouldn't like you. No, absolutely not. Like I, games? it doesn't games. matter. He's really smart. He's quiet, and he don't he's he really play smart. games. And I'm okay with the games, but he doesn't talk. That's a no. And I was like, yeah, she's not gonna like so you. So she, she, he has to be a talk. He has to communicate. Of course. He needs to be able to communicate well. Bubbles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name for the day. Okay. Kale, Bubbles, Bubbles, Kale. So, okay. hey, you? Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the producer, uh, shout out from, you know, from, from the, the, nobody else from the peanut gallery? Because yep. this is this is a staple, and I will take that to my grave because I get it from my father. Don't you ever dumb yourself down. I raised you. The one thing they can't stand is an outspoken, articulate black man. I said, that's right, daddy. Talk that talk, walk that walk. Yes, sir. But that's true, though. And, uh, but not every not every woman wants that now. Now, he's a bullshitter now. He was a bullshitter. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> eyes brown on the one. But he, he can talk. <laughs> Listen, not every, woman, not every woman requires that they have a man that's outspoken and talkative, right? That's not a requirement for everybody. That's right. For Dominique, that's a requirement. So when I sat down and I looked at him, he's, he's smart, good job, all of those things. But I know... Oh, he has money, he has no kids, he's 30 years old. I know for her, he cannot be sitting at home playing the video games, not traveling, not trying to go to restaurants, not trying to talk. I know that's a no. So as much as I'm like, oh. No, 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 I agree with that. That was in the movie. Talk. That's in the movie. Yeah, so, like, so, so. That's in the movie. That was your, that was, that was part of your checklist. So. That is you, like at the when, top. When, when you, I'm just going to ask you that. When you make this, when you make this checklist of what you want out of a person, mm-hmm. do you put your dislikes at the top of the chart? Because if you put your dislikes at the top of the chart... Well, I think they right here. Right? Well, well, the reason I was saying, if you put your, if you put your dislikes at the let top of the chart, let me see. I, I think that when you make a list, when you make a list, if you put your deal breakers at the top of the chart, Mm-hmm. The rest of it don't even matter. That's true. Right, I agree. With because you. Yeah. if 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 it's like okay, he got to be good looking, or she got to be attractive, mm-hmm. she got to have a good job, she got to have good credit, or this, or he got to have this. Right. But if you know, non communication is a deal breaker. For, that's going to be like my you you if you if it's ten, that's my probably top three questions of my deal breakers. So if if those top three questions aren't answered. The rest of them don't even matter. I don't I care. Agree. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how much money you got. Yeah. I don't care where you work. I don't care if you got good credit or whatever. It doesn't matter at that point in time yeah. because the deal breaker, mm-hmm. the deal. But you, you, and I think that's what's wrong with a lot of relationships. People, we set back and we will to. Uh, I can settle for that, or I can change this right. person. And you and, can't. You can't change. You know, I, you I just and, and yeah. I'm saying from life experience. I think that once you hit over 30, you kind of set in your ways. It is. I'm not saying that you won't change or your mindset won't change, but you kind of set on. I mean, because, you know, it's just like you take and you live on your own. Mm-hmm. You got responsibilities. You've been working for a while and everything. Right. And especially a lot of in today's society, a lot of women are single and taking care of themselves. So at that point in time, you know, a man coming to your life is hard to submit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then it's hard to say, well, I, I don't like this or I don't like that. Well, you like, I don't give a darn what you like. Because you in that mindset as a woman, you like, I'm taking care of myself anyway. Right. You know what I mean? I, so I think that well, you have to have the deal breakers That's at the definitely top. been a thing. So I don't know if y'all seen on TikTok where it's this guy on there. Sierra, did you see it? What was it? Where the guy was like, you know, women just going to have to settle. 
Like oh, that, that's okay. yes. Him. Anyway. And he's just like, okay. you know, women just have to settle because there's not enough perfect guys out here. And, you know, and a lot of women were saying, like, at the end of the day, if I'm already doing 100 percent, why would I come in here? Why would I allow you to come in here? Who's doing 100 percent? But, but but then I'm there's, saying, a, there's a young lady. Your, if you're doing, right, right, doing it by yourself, right, that okay. is 100 percent. But, 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 yeah, I've seen a young lady on, on, on Instagram and she was talking about. She would, and it's almost in reverse. She was saying mm. that you know what, the women today because they dress so revealing, showing so much of their self, they're looking for a handout, they're looking who can mm-hmm. do this, who can pay this. That you don't, you don't, you know. Back in the days, and when she kind of said it, I guess because I'm old school. Like if 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 you're a very attractive woman mm-hmm. and you're not revealing yourself and stuff, that that gives me curiosity as a man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and when that gives me curiosity as a man, but if you go out there and you reveal it, I know this is what it is. I can tell you, I, I just I just saw this guy, he said, and it was crazy because I called Dominic when I saw this. He was saying <laughs> how if the woman is on there revealing, like showing off her body, showing not not necessarily naked, but just showing off all her body, whatever, right? You could the the person that you're attracting, he's only attracted to that. The person that you want is repelled by that. Mm. So you got the one that you don't want, you're attracted, and the one that you do want, you're repelling for the very same reason, being beautiful and showing off your beauty. And I was like, that's crazy. So what do you do? I, I think, I think. Well, do you lie I, under I, a rock? Like, no, I think, I think that when it comes to, I'm, I'm going to start with us as men. When it comes to us as men, how we attract is through financial and material things. That's how we when it, I mean, as far as like women showing their bodies, because that's attract we are we attracted that you show some me your body. I mean, some of I'm, I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. putting everybody in the right. same category, but I'm just saying that you know when when we go out, it, 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 let's take it like you go out to the club, mm-hmm. you pull up to the club, who driving the nicest car, who dressing the nice, who got the money, who buying out the bar, that's attractive to some women. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not gonna say all women, but that's attractive to some women, right? Then you reverse That's it. That's because they materialistic. Right, but right. then you reverse it back to the men, right? Oh, she's pretty. He don't worry about whether she got a job or what she work at. Because he's shallow. Thing. Because external. He just into the external. And he's shallow. You know? So when you look at it, we attract each other for different reasons. Until you get to know the real person. Right, and, and, and that goes back to what I'm saying, that if you have this checklist... Put mm-hmm. your deal breakers on the top, and then the yeah. rest of it don't I mean, matter. I feel like they should be side by side. Like at the end of the day, you can write down, "Oh, I know, I don't like this, I don't want this." And if this person possesses these things, this is not the person for me. And then on the flip side of that, it's like, okay, if I'm gonna be with this person, they need to have X, Y, Z. Fine, I feel like that's fair. Now you're not wasting time. You're not wasting their time. You're not wasting your time. Yeah. Every, you know, we we good. I think when I look at when I look at um, love is blind. They're on there. They have like I think it's two or four, two to four weeks to actually like ask questions, serious questions about this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them, like the couple that I just watched, they I, I knew they was gonna make it I, because they asked the hard questions. Like she didn't want to take birth controls. He didn't want kids. Right now, they were asking like the really yeah, hard questions right. Mm-hmm. right behind the wall. They knew this was a problem, and they but they loved each another. Each, each other enough to say, you know, we'll figure that part out because that's not a deal breaker, but we need to figure that part out before we go outside. They knew that. I feel like anybody going into a relationship right now, and this is just my personal opinion, opinion this is my 21 year being married. You should be in therapy for six straight months weekly. This is my opinion because I feel like. The representative show up at first. Mm-hmm. That's who shows up, right? Mm-hmm. The representative sticks around for a little while. The call, the call, the... We got a question, y'all. Go ahead. The question is, what if you never find someone who checks off all your boxes? Nobody's ever going to check off all your boxes. Do they check off the most important boxes? There you go. Do they call, yeah, do, they, do the, they check off the most important and, boxes? And it's just like I said, if if, yeah. if if your deal breakers are at the top, the rest of the boxes don't even matter. And if I you're know. a shallow person and your deal breakers are he needs to look like this, she needs to look like that, they need to make this, they then you're shallow and you're never gonna find the right person. A- exactly. So no, we're skip, we're you skipping it. over the magic word. Hold on, let me okay, What's let, the magic let's move word? away from this Eurocentric false standards and guidelines, right? Because those are girls and those are big boys with toys. Leave them kids alone. Toys ain't us. Right, 
What about respect? Respect is at the top of the yeah, list. Yeah, but you can but, find, but, a, you but, can but, find but, a great like, guy that you let's go. very respectful. And you no, not like, full. Not full. Just respect. No, Listen. but what Audrey's saying is yes. can, yeah. some people are shadow and they don't care nothing about respect. They don't. Right. Some people yeah. want, some people, they as the young people see. say, no they standards. want the bag. So respect, though, I don't care. But, as long as you pay my bills, as long as you help me pay yeah. my rent. Well, you look good. That's all. That I creates want. entanglements because he pay. We'll pay it all the bills. We'll pay the bills, and she cheating with men, women, dogs, cats, everything. But, That's their business. But still, you you embarrass somebody. Where's the respect? I, I I get that right. You do you do need respect. But here's the thing. That's not enough. I I, I right. remember this guy. No, that's more on the list. This, this guy tried to date me. He was really nice. My mother wanted. She wanted to marry me off to all these guys. It just wasn't happening. Huh, 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 listen, huh, the ever don't listen. fall too far from the tree, y'all. I don't try to marry you off because I know what you like. Every month, my mother try to no, marry no, no. me off. I'm I be, telling y'all, I be looking for the right person. I'm not trying to marry you off because I don't want you to get in a relationship where you're gonna be like an entanglement. I want you to get this one. Though. But the guy was really nice. He was really respectful. He drove a station wagon. Where's he from? Jersey. He drove a station wagon. He had on the little the little pastor shirt with the pocket on the front, uh-huh. right? And he mm. said, "My daddy told me to put my money in the house." Now that that sounds good to my mother, right? And he was so respectful. But me looking at him in that station wagon, like, oh. that's not that's not gonna work. All right, that's, that's how old you for me. <laughs> that's not gonna work for me, sister. How old? But, but, because I need a little bit of thug in mine, so that wasn't gonna work. But, but, and right. that's and that's one of the things. Just a little yeah. bit. That's that's the one thing. The people Bubbles. people gotta realize this too. Brandon, say hello, mother. Here's what hi. people gotta realize. She said hi. Everybody has their own list. They right. do. What what what? I mean, just like Mustafa said, you know, at the top of his list might be respect. Yeah. And somebody else's list that might be way down the bottom. If I can get all this other stuff <laughs> and then get the respect to, I'm good. Yeah. Right. You know, I really, I really but, got but, that. But, really but, got no, but what I'm saying you, is, what, what I'm saying is, sometimes we get so tied up in what we think, mm-hmm. and our list ain't what my list might not be what yours is, Dominique. Absolutely. Or, or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like you just now said, your mother every month trying to marry you off. So I do her, not try to marry her off. Well, her, her, well, the well let's put it this way. <laughs> Your list of what you want for your daughter is not her list. Well, listen, I've learned, I've learned that her list, I know what the list is now. So I usually <laughs> just say, hey, you single? That's not enough. You need to be able to be single. You need to want to travel. You need to be able to go to restaurants. You know, you need to be able to accept my baby because she's there. She's a come with this package that my daughter carries. So that is, that's big. And you got to be, you got to be respectful. I'm going to tell you this. Respect is right up there at the top. I, I remember... Then trust. The tr- trust and respect. I remember with my friends, and they were all here for the gala, I was always the biggest one out of all my friends, right? But I had no problem getting dudes. So one of my friends that was sitting at the table, she was the smallest. Talk it, big bubbles. And she came to me Talk and she it. said, how you get these guys to buy you stuff? And I was like, I had no idea. I'm like, I don't know. Swag. But the thing was, you got to respect me because I'm... Don't disrespect me. Because I have self-respect. <laughs> I have self respect and confidence. And confidence. So you don't re- don't disrespect me because if you disrespect me. I'm going to re- disrespect you back. Yeah, now, now, I met you with respect, respect. But if you disrespect me, then I got to go up the chain I'm, of command. I'm, I'm, I'm going to disrespect you back. So don't disrespect me. I'm not going to disrespect you. And I had to think about that for a second. And it was confidence, right? And I think it was confidence because when I was like in eighth grade, my eighth grade teacher said to me, "She said you're a big girl. You always got to look cute." That's what she said to me, right? And I went. To the far end, I shopped every day. I had a three thousand dollar American Express bill because I I heard what she said as a grown person. So it's confidence, it's respect, all of these things. But you gotta know that about yourself. Right. Like if you don't know that about and my and this, the friend I'm talking about, sweet person, sweet person. And I would say to her, please don't have another picnic for that man. He ain't worth it. She wouldn't listen to me. She would have picnics. She would go all out her way for him, and they all dumped in her like trash. And I was like, yeah, don't don't stop doing that. I ain't doing all. I ain't having no picnics. I ain't cooking. She you definitely ain't doing that. I ain't doing but, none of but, that. But, then, but like you always say, you let people know that up front. <laughs> I do. Right. And I think that, you know, like I say, a lot of us, we hide behind so many things about yeah, I think I think more people should date blind. You know, okay. So let's let's look at this. Let, let's look. Let's look at this. We hey, talked about. We, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So we talked about, about. We talked about. Go ahead. Love is blind, right? Right. So that's loving somebody without seeing them, right? Mm-hmm. 
Can you marry somebody blind? <laughs> can you can, can you marry somebody okay, sight that's unseen? The show, that's I can't, the show, I can't um, marry blind. Marry that first sight. Yeah, can you marry somebody can. sight unseen? Sight or, unseen. No, or, 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 saying, or you meet no. them for the first time and we get married, no. and then we figure it out as we go along. Because no. if, if I get to the altar and they didn't put ginger up there for me, it's a no. It's a wrap. Light skin come through. It's over. With. So it's so you couldn't marry somebody. Sight at unseen. sight, at first sight, no. married to my, but you could possibly love and marry somebody okay. where love is blind. Yeah, I feel like okay, because love is blind. You get to see them and hang out with them. Eventually, you get to see. Right, them. y'all not just y'all the first world. sight. You going straight to the altar. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all meeting mean, at the altar. Y'all meeting at the altar. Now here's my thing. Like I, I told y'all that. last week when we did the show, right? Remember the loop, mom. You remember the loop? I know the you remember thing. that. Yeah, if they, if they, if they, if they can't, can't, if they can't shift gears, <laughs> she got a whooping. If she, if they can't shift gears, Dominique is no good with it. They got to be able to shift gears. What does that mean? They got to come out of first gear. <laughs> that means that means what you saying? from a We're sexual that means from a sexual standpoint, if she not test driving it, it ain't happening. What me say? I see it. Cut bubbles. I got this one. Right? Yeah, now, 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 we're going to the ratchet now. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, my favorite. Straight from New York, boy. Cardi B said, ride the dick like a BMX. No niggas want to be my ex. I fell out. I was like, oh, my God. Is this a family show? <laughs> hey, but you know, we're this this is hip-hop. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Time out. Is yeah, see, I'm old? just saying, I feel like... It's like, her like I said, she put her husband in the video. I want to know. I don't want to go. It's I don't want to get married See, and I, then now I got to find out. Now I got to teach you. First of all, you need oh, to have no, some experience. No, no. That's one thing, <laughs> right? You got to come with some kind of experience, okay? Because I'm not about to sit here and be like, so, hey, and put it here. And look at, <laughs> I, you know, move over to the left a little so, bit. So, let, let, I, I don't want to do that. I don't to need the left a little bit. Just a little bit. Just right. little, you biting it. You, you know, I need you to know what you're doing. I'm not with the. You gotta, you gotta come experience. So, with that being said, I don't. I feel like I can. I can't. I'm not gonna be that one. Well, I, I don't can't. know. I should. I don't know if I should be hearing this conversation. Right now. Well, now, hey, she's, listen, she's safe. It, it is. It is. I'm like this. Okay, you know, so I'm, is impetus is impetus grounds for divorce or separation? Not if you married already. No. Mm-mm. Not if you. You Mm-mm. only bet for better or worse. Or okay, okay, and, 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 and you know what? Well, and I right. say this. Okay. Uh, and, and people. Young people probably really don't understand this morning because I mean I understand youth, but as as you as you get older and stuff, things start to change. You know what? Sometimes you know, sometimes a guy can become impotent, and sometimes a woman can become dry like a desert because. I mean, you go through these, <laughs> you know, you go, wait a minute, you go through the menopause, men go through whatever they're going through. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Audrey, that it's got to be at some point better or worse. Well, I'm just saying in my youth, and I, your youth, in my I youth get it. everything need to work properly. That's what I'm saying. But I listen, period. <laughs> we had this conversation last time I was here. If you marry somebody and, and, and something happens and things stop working, you don't leave that person. No, you don't leave them. You don't. I'm not saying that, but in my youth, because I'm still here, I understand I'm that. not going to let y'all take this away from no, me. And no, and I, I wouldn't not, take it away. Everything needs to work. No, no. And I, 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 I concur But with when that. things does not, if you're married to somebody and things doesn't work, you just don't leave that person. You don't go out and cheat on that person. Well, let me ask you this. I'm just saying. But let's I mean, throw, that's what they got a whole toy store for. Let, let, let's, throw out. let's throw this into the equation. I'm just saying. Let's say you have a list. Mm-hmm. And this person meets ninety percent, ninety percent of your list, uh-huh. but they, the, the they equipment bad don't bed. work, or the equipment don't work. Ah, but but I even mean, if they're bad in bed, even though you say you don't want to teach them something, you could teach them at that point. If they at ninety percent, they worth teaching at ninety percent. I don't know. Bad. It depends on how what kind of bad we talking about. Because if it's well, let's say the trash. I mean, the sex is trash. You can still uh, teach them. Uh, huh? You can still teach them. Okay, okay. The things limp. <laughs> Limp. It's never. In it's, my, it's always limp. In my oh. youth, if if that man is showing up limp, and now you, if we got a problem already. We starting out bad. Now, nurse, hey, we ain't got to be no youth, and he's showing up limp all the time. That's a problem to anybody. So much. yeah, nurse. But the nurse, I saw a nurse told me that there is a certain uh, erectile dysfunction doctor. Mm-hmm. She said, "Do she said." She said, Mustafa, come over there on a Thursday, right? I'm like, I don't need nothing. She said, no. The <laughs> line wrapped around. <laughs> 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 told so the line, said the line be wrapped around the hospital, huh? He come on a Thursday. They showing up on Wednesday night. 
in well, those tents. They're flying from overseas. But, but, uh, now, they uh, do have the pump that if, if you live, is 90% Reebok. and you got the pump. <laughs> what pump? We, we, we just skipped over Viagra. We got a pump now. Well, because well, it may not work. Before the, oh. the pump was before right. so the Viagra. You can pump it up. Yeah. Pump what up? Pump, 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 pump it up. Pump it up. Yeah. So like it's, you can literally but, pump it up and then put wow. it in the world. So remember, say so that's wait, where. Wait a minute. Remember, say that's where. Right. We'll <laughs> see it. So he had. He came in and got the surgery. Right. So the doctor was going through chemo, whatever, and he had. He's behind the thing. So he said, mm, "Let's try this thing out." He practiced it. I've checked my hubs. I'm slow down. Wow, right? And, it, and, and the doctors. How long you like, stay up after they get pumped? It was deep pumping. You have to, to deep pump it. Yeah, you got deep pump. <laughs> but that's ninety percent. Ninety. You check off ninety percent of the box. Ninety. Then you, we got to pump your meat. Yeah. Oh my god, that's <laughs> somebody gonna pump my meat. <laughs> uh, I mean, so somebody will so pump my meat. We gotta be in luck. So, I'm trying to tell. So when you go, man, Thomas, man, Thomas, man. So let's bring the whole whole thing. It's implanted. It's implanted. It's implanted. Oh. So, so how you pumping it? Like you got to pump it like at, the, at pump. the base. You got oh, so they like transgenders low key because they got a pump too. I'm not really like that. They got the real thing. Well, it's just got a let, pump. Let's in say there. this. <laughs> and, and 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 meeting not people really. and meeting people with love is blind and meeting people at marriage at first sight. Some of these things <laughs> negative. Some of these things you would have what? to say, hey, I'm not going to deal with it. So this is I'm not laughing at up. the comments. Oh you know God! What but is it? I cannot, y'all. You know, so so God. so some of the some of the things that 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 may work for others may not. You know, because That's like true. I say, like you say, Audrey, people that shadow and materialism, right. they Ooh. don't care because they will go out and get somebody else to satisfy their sexual needs mm-hmm. and why this other person is providing all the material things <laughs> and providing all the money and everything. Mm-hmm. And well, they see, be that's like, a, okay. That's a recipe for disaster. And right. It may be. Right. But that's a recipe guess what? for disaster. But are we really loving these days, though? That's really the question. No, we're not. I that's think, the problem. That's the problem mm-hmm. that we have. I am. I think, I think that... It's a, it's only uh, well, a let, let me say, we're not, we're not going to beat up on you today. But don't, well, don't, don't, don't I'm for it. Like, don't, like, like, don't, like my don't, favorite because costume. hit me with that, hit me with that softball. No, because <laughs> well, I'm, I'm you, you know, I kind of know you per, real personally. Oh, so wait a minute, wait a minute, so, so, wait a minute. So wait a minute, no, no, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> Miss Alfred, you don't want to go there with me. I promise <laughs> you, not? not today. Not you don't want, not you don't want to go because we go there because because if I go there with you, this show could turn to a three hour show. Okay, thank you. So I got, got, any I show going to be three I got, hours. I got 15 minutes. I ain't so, got three hours. So we're not going to go there today because Do me like my thing is this. Like just like I say, Please. most people, not just lie to people, they lie to themselves. Because so they most are. people lie to themselves. And then when they set up there and got to yes. face the reality... You know what? Now you're sitting up here looking half crazy because now you got to right. face this reality yeah, right? because you get caught up in your game. Well, but I'm saying, but, but no, I ain't got no game. I'm no place. I'm going to knock it off, right? That's where he's going. Because at the same time, like this, right? Men lie, women lie, right? Women believe what they hear and men believe what they see. That's why y'all wear makeup and we lie. I don't know about all that. I don't know but about what all I that. Numbers do don't lie, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What I do know is that People show up as their representatives, yeah. right? They bring all their false beliefs to the table, right? They bring all their fake game to the table, and then it's a, it's hard to try to keep up that facade because at some point the real you gonna come out, right? But what happens is if you just let the real you came out in the beginning, it could have saved you some time and the other person some time. It could exactly. save you some heartache and the other person some heartache. But no, I, he got a car. He got a nice car. She got uh, a nice body. Uh, and now everybody's fake. And now she's tired. She got to take the hair off, right? He got to go to work yeah. and, and take the car back. He done rent it. And now everybody's upset. <laughs> it's Atlanta. They rent okay, cars. Okay, okay. They might have said. No, no. They I'm, I'm going to give you a pass, yeah. right, for the just day. Be, just, just, just be who you are. Point. Just and if the person don't like you for who you are, then don't be with that person. And that's right. my thing. If they, if they don't like you, okay. my thing is just be come as you are. Come right. as you are. All right, I'm going to give you one pass, right? Stop being fake. We're going to do a Fonny Willis. This is Fonny Willis on the stand. I'm Just one question, and we good. We ain't going to do three hours. Just one question. We not. Just we not doing three hours. We got 12, we got 12 minutes. Yo, wait, man, ask, no, I'm going to allow him to ask me a personal question. question. <laughs> no, I want you to ask me a personal question. We have history. Right? Today. I, I don't I don't want to go because I don't want to turn this to. Just two. one. We got no, our, no, our no, guests no. and our stuff. They don't have the time. No, because, no, no, no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. 
Because Mustafa, I know you well enough it's that if I ask you a question, like, wait a minute, hold on, Audrey, Audrey, hold on. If I ask you a question, you're going to have a rebuttal to the no, question. No, I, pr- I promise, and we're going to keep it up under a minute. A well, minute we're not going to go there. We're going to choose not to go there. We'll do this <laughs> at another case. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll do that at another case. But the moral of the story is. But what the moral of the story is, the is that love yourself, period. period. Test drive the car. Right. No, I'm playing. Go ahead. No, you wasn't. <laughs> Be honest. Thank you. Be honest. Keep it Be real. up front. Yes. Create. If you Keep have ready. a list, create your list. Thank right. You. And I, I suggest, now you don't have to do this. I suggest mm-hmm. that your deal breakers be at the top of your list so you won't be wasting your time. Because if, if if the deal breakers at the top, I don't even have to ask you right. to make six or seven no, questions. Thanks, right? Because it's done. This conversation is done. We could we could be friends. We could we could maybe talk every now and then. But as far as a relationship, oh, you know, love is blind. Just now, just one, friends and benefits. But you know, maybe no, able to smash I, every now and again. No, I, you know what? Bubble. I don't. I don't even. I don't even think. Even when it comes to what you say, friends would. With benefits, with, benefits, with, with sexual benefits, yeah. you know what? It's somebody, somebody is somebody's going to get women. Somebody's going to get emotionally attacked they and are. hurt. They somebody's are. going to yes. so that 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 having a friend with benefits where it's intimacy and right. sex involved. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, trash. It's going to end up in a bad situation. Always, always in a bad situation because if you might get attached or they might get attached, mm-hmm. and then if they if they don't get attached and you do, then you hiding out in bushes and all this other kind of nonsense. No, 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 no. My, best, my best revenge is success. If you if you ghost me. I'm not stuck. Well, why shouldn't you want to have success for yourself? Why you got to have somebody, you got to have somebody yeah. that gets better with you or say you ain't this and this. And this. You should always want it for yourself. Because, that's because, true. Because. You should always, no, yeah, okay. I think that's the problem. That is the problem right there, right? You're going to go out and chase success to prove them wrong, not to prove yourself no, that's, wrong. I'm not that's make, what you no, said. No, no, well, no. What, you I, what, the, what I heard My you, best revenge is go ahead. upgrade. What I so when you see me, I'm be like, oh, hey. But, see, you but why are you, reason. but you upgrading for who? I didn't do that. They saw me. I didn't see them. Mustafa. Who are you upgrading for? Myself. No, no, you just now said we so involved about, another how about, person. How about this? Come as an upgrade in the beginning. How about that? Exactly. Because you said, now I'm going to tell you what you said. That's Let's the go back to why we success. don't. Okay, right. my, myself. Let me say this. This is why we're not having this three-hour conversation. Because you say <laughs> things. Wait a minute. Hold on. You say things, and then when people hear what you say, you try to correct yourself in the middle. No, 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 no. Wait a no, minute. No, wait a no, minute. No, because we were talking about. I got a rebuttal. Wait a minute. No. That's listen, trash. Listen. We were up here talking about. Having a friend with benefits, and you said if they decide they don't want to be in it, and this, that, and the other, and they go choose somebody else, I'm going to go upgrade. Why didn't you come like Audrey said? Why didn't you come upgraded? Why didn't? Why don't you upgrade for yourself? Why you got to prove somebody else so wrong? When you find out me and find out the sex is trash too. Mm-mm-mm-mm. No, but what I'm saying is, you see, you're trying to change the narrative. But what I'm saying is. You said I then I go upgrade. So you're upgrading to prove somebody else wrong. Semantics, you're not upgrading semantics, for yourself. Semantics. You no, semantics. we just have semantics. You can come with it was. It is what it is. Because that's why I said Part that, 75. That's why I said we're not gonna have this conversation yeah, because it's gonna end up with a rebuttal. It's gonna end up with some rebuttal. It's gonna end up I didn't say that when I I'm, I'm I listen very well. I I, I just want to say this back to the list. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the list is very important. I also feel like everybody should should find out who that person's what that person's love language is. Like when you check off, I feel like that's really important too because I've seen situations where, and I'm gonna speak for myself. I've seen situations where that that person love language may not be a love language that you could support. Mm. If you if you mm-hmm. get into a relationship with, with somebody, you, yes, right, sure. and their love language is words of affirmation. I love you. I love you all the time. And you, you know, you're handsome and you're this and you're that. You're so right? wonderful. If you're not the person that can be that person and say that stuff all the time, that's a problem for that person. And exactly. it becomes a problem right. for you. Keep the same and it's, it's crazy because my husband and I had this conversation. That's his, that's his love language, words of affirmation. And we were talking and I said to him, well, you know, you, you know, as long as you're getting praise, you're happy. And he said to me, isn't everybody like that? And I was like, no, no. I'm, I'm not no, like that. Not. And he was like, really? I was like, no, no. I'm not like that. And But for me, to keep that going for him is a lot. Right. So it's, I can't keep that going because I'm not walking around all day. Right. 
Boy, I you so you so amazing. I, my mind, I got too much stuff going in my mind. Right, right. On the flip side of that, my love language is 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 affection. Affection, and he is very unaffectionate. Physical touch. Physical touch. He is very. He's not affectionate like that. Right. So for me. Because I'm not the person that needs it 100%. That is my number one love language, but I'm so busy most of the time to I I miss it. Okay, so let me ask you this. And and I totally that agree. Should be really I, 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 I totally agree with you. So when 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 you first met this this husband of yours and you like you say you understand, you under, you knew what his love language you, I didn't you know then. Right. So down that journey, and this is where I go to, down that journey we begin to find out things about yep. people. Mm. We begin to find out that, okay, like like you say, yours is affection, right? Yep. Well, at the time, especially like when I first met you, you was trying to do the podcast thing. You had the doll thing you was going on. So you kind of didn't have all this time to expect all this affection, yep. right? So then, in your, so then in your downtime, well, you this affectionate person. Now this person not giving me affection. Or during your downtime, this person is looking for a lot of praise and I love you and everything. And you're like, hey, I'm so busy. I don't have the energy to keep praising you. I'm trying to make a, a living. You know what I mean? Hey, I give it to you here. I give it to you there. But like you say, I totally agree. For that person, is not enough. And it right. would never, ever be enough. No. Right? Mm-hmm. But even though you're an affectionate person, you you don't miss it until you hit your downtime, right? Because when you're busy, I'm not. I, I, I don't. Feel, I could care less about this affection. Right. I feel like you. I feel like the best thing to do when it comes to love languages and hitting those, you have to find somebody that has the same love language. Love, love language. I feel yeah. like that's the easiest way because yep. if I like gifts and you like gifts, now we going gift for gift. It's up, you yeah. know. Or I like quality time and you like quality time and we okay with sitting on the sofa and just chilling out. Like you gotta find somebody that, and I feel like that works. <laughs> but, and, and I totally, I totally agree with you. But here's that's the problem. Hard. Here's the problem. Nah, when you when we hard, when we though. go back to this love is blind or marriage at first, well, you meet these people, right? And you're having, like you say, Audrey, you having that 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 dating stage, that mm-hmm. Rico Suave stage, and all that. You having all, but yet you're growing. You're growing in this relationship. You're getting older. You're getting wiser. Your expectations change. There's a lot of yeah. things. And a lot of people where they expect for you to be in the same place you were when you met them. Mm-hmm. And that's not that's, that's not realistic. That's, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. And, I, and I can tell you this. From, from me and my husband been together, we've been together 23 years, married 21 this year. We have learned to manage that part, right? So for him, he gets that part from his job. Like the praise and right. everybody talking about how good he is. He gets so when he gets home, I don't have to really worry about that part. Now I don't get my part, Man. but I'm so busy that <laughs> right. so I don't. Right. I don't even you, think you, about right. it. And you know what? I thought about something earlier today, right? Like we have all these devices and stuff now, right? Mm-hmm. And as soon as something happened, we putting it out there on video. As soon as something talk, I'm not saying you preserve mm-hmm. people. Or we calling somebody said, but you know, like back in the days when I seen that, you know what, you had to wait till you got home to call somebody on the phone. Yeah. Then if you call them, the line might be busy. busy. So I got to call back several times. But guess why we had that long, great conversation because another when you when you sharing everything that's happening during your day, when you get home to your mate, you really have nothing to talk nothing about because you didn't about. shared it all. Mm-hmm. You know, like like some things that may be exciting to you and I get it but wait till I get home then that gives us something to talk about you know we sitting down eating Mm -hmm. dinner that gives us something to talk about Mm -hmm. but if you get if you get it and then you get home and still want to talk about the same thing it usually don't pay it out. You be like, well, you told me that earlier. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. okay, well, what you feel about it? Well, but I, you know I, what else, Amari? That goes back to this part. We didn't talk about this part, but that goes back to not having something in common, right? Uh, because when you don't have something in common with somebody, it is a hard conversation to have. So you have to have small talk. You have to make up stuff to talk about. You have to. You have. That's another thing. At the top of most people list, that should be. You should have something in common. Okay, yes. so because so what you say? Because when the sex is going. When it's when the, when the sexy the war, where, where did it go? Mm-hmm. Where, because it's gonna wear off, Mustafa. <laughs> it's gonna that that whole fight is going the flame is gonna gonna die down. Right. You yeah. need to be able to talk to that okay. person. And you can't and have a conflict. Okay, so let maybe, me ask you this question. Maybe not. At least you could talk to him. Yes. Let me ask you this question. 
Because you stated a lot for better or for worse, right? Mm-hmm. So now you're in this relationship with this person. Like you say, you've been with your husband 23. Mm-hmm. You've been married 21. You just then spoke about y'all different love language. So how do you get to the point where you say, we got to figure out and make this thing work? Because if it's for better work, it's almost like you don't want to throw 21 years of marriage down the drain because... All of a sudden, I'm not. I'm still not praising you. I'm still not getting my affection away. So how do you? Because we talk about meeting somebody and have something in common. Mm-hmm. Realistically, the likelihood of that is very slim because people are so different. And then the world we live in today, they really different because everybody got. I, I, I just think. For me, a lot of people in the world today are so fake, yes. and they can That's do it. Too. They can so do it. For, they yeah. can do it for a long time. Selfish. People have come yeah. good, become good. They can do it for a long, long time. Well, this is this is what I would say, right? If if you know that you, I like football, so that's something. I, yeah, we watch. I'm gonna. I watch football. So my, me and my husband, we connect over football. Mm-hmm. But when mm-hmm. we first got together, he told me he had a five year plan. So just out the gate, somebody saying they got a five, you got a five year plan. Me not thinking he had been around me long enough to know that was important to me. And then four years into the marriage, I'm like, what happened to your five year plan? He and, got it. You were the plan. You were the plan. And he said, <laughs> he said, I'm no. living through you. See, but 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 and, again, and, and so I stopped doing anything. Well, you won't live to me living through this. So I went real evil. Stop doing, stop doing business. Stop. Do, I wouldn't do nothing but, but party. I just went back okay, to party but, girl okay, So that was a problem. Right. But you said, how do we make it work? So 23, 23 years, we don't want to throw that away. He goes to work. They praise him at work for doing a job well done. He comes home. He cooks. I praise him. When he do things at home, I do praise him, but I can't walk around all day long doing that. Right. I, so he, I doesn't, get that. he doesn't expect yeah. that. Right? He doesn't expect that. So... I've learned that he's just not an affectionate person based on things that the way he was raised, right? But I didn't know that in the beginning because in the beginning, I got all these little things. I got it's cars, cool. I got flowers, I got all these things, and, and nobody had ever did, did right. those things. And, and, and so say- I was sucked into that, like, wow, like this mm-hmm. is great. But now, the 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 good things about him far away the, the things that I don't like. Right, it's like the almost like the 80-20 rule. 80% of them good, right. 20% of them, you got, you Those know. Those things but, far outweigh right. the things that, that would will, that will bother me if I was starting over right now. Now, and, starting over, if I had to start from scratch, don't do it. Bro, you got to check off this, this, this. Right. But <laughs> even still, it ain't, it's but, not enough right. people where to check the box. Like, it's dating, and I tell anybody, if you are in a relationship and you can see it going somewhere like y'all can fix it fix it yeah because yeah. the streets ain't this ain't nothing and a lot of it. people say that it, the it's streets just, it's ain't like, it. now if you get abused or something like that then yeah if, oh. if you feel yeah. like yo you know your piece is being yeah. tested to the point of no return then yeah i'm gonna suggest you to go ahead and head out but what i am going to suggest is you just have time to yourself that's that's my suggestion mm-hmm. but the streets it's ghetto out here I, I tell anybody and i tell my married friends all the time i'm like listen Y'all got husbands. They probably not the best. I understand. However, though, you get out here and it's a whole different devil. So you damned if you do, damned if you don't at this point. But at least be with somebody that y'all have an understanding. Y'all know each other. You know, work through it. Go to therapy. Do whatever it is that you need to do because it's trash. I I, 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 I I think therapy is really important. I think it is important. I think that I think that through growth that. Other when you're married or you in a serious relationship or whatever you choose to do, I just think you have to understand growth. Mm-hmm. I think you have to understand that, you know, things happen to people. I think that you have to understand that, you know, I, I think that you got to understand that, you know what? Your 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 man might be might be a strong love and become impotent. He could get an accident or something more. Your wife get have something to go wrong with her medically. Yeah. But you don't give up on the person, but you got to understand now that this has happened to this person, change is going to come up. It's, it's not going to be the same person. You it know what I mean? Be. So we just going, we just going to end our show like this. We're going to say, you know what? Love can be blind, but you make, you take the pathway to it. And, mm-hmm. and you got to fight for marriage, it. Marriage, married at sight. That's very dangerous. <laughs> you know, that's very dangerous. <laughs> I think I think love blind might work out a little better than marriage yeah, at first yeah. marriage at first sight. Yeah, they all bad, you know? really bad. But hey. they all bad. But I want to <laughs> conclude and say that you know what? I think that we all come to the conclusion that if you with somebody, 
Try to make it work. Try, do try, it. Try, try, try to make it work. Because at a certain point, like you say, and I use your analogy, hey, well, I'm this affectionate person or he a person that needs a lot of accolades and praise. Okay, well, we've been here 20 some years. Things have changed. We both not getting what we want, but how do we make it work? Right. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't find that common ground, you're going to end up in a war zone. Right. You know, because because like I say, it's it's just getting to know your mate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing, getting to know your partner. Yep. And you get to know your partner, you got to accept the bad with the good. You got to accept the good with the bad because right. nobody's in. I want to say this and I want to stress this. Nobody on this earth's surface is perfect. Nobody. Nobody. Not one so person. whether you have a list of five things, whether you have a list of ten things, you got to understand this. Some people are not going to meet all that list. Yeah, no, it's and impossible. You, and you sit back and you use the 80-20 rule. And we hope that you find love. And we hope that you guys keep listening to people think about it. You can listen to us at people think about it, uh, dot com. You can email us at people think about it at gmail.com. We on YouTube. We on Facebook. Uh, we ask you to subscribe. Uh, go to our spot and subscribe. And support the show. And support the you show. You can support the show support financially. Support the show. Support the show. Ooh, you, know? yeah. you can so now we support all, the show. We all, Just click on we the all support button. button. Just hit the support button. Hit the subscribe button. Keep The biggest thing is, as you see the word think is big, that's all we want you guys to do to think. think. All these, All the guests and... People that be on the show, our co-host Dominique and our Damn. our current, I mean, you know, our, our, our re- recurring guest Miss Audrey and recurring our uh, guest Mustafa. Yeah. These are only thoughts of ours. Right. No, well, this is a non-opinionated show, so you yeah. know, we yeah. just try to give you a little things to think about. So we yeah. want y'all to enjoy. People think about it. We hope you guys keep listening. Every Wednesday at eight o'clock, a new episode. You've been listening to people think about it. Be sure to subscribe to the show and share it with your friends so that you never miss an episode. A new episode drops every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Thank you for listening.